Hey guys, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. My son is with my husband, which will last two seconds. I'm sure he will walk in here at any moment. <laughs> um, basically, James Charles has stopped losing subscribers. He is positive 500 now. That's like me, I make like 500 subscribers in a week. <laughs> so, um, kind of funny, but not really, kind of sucks for him. But anyway, so he's finally positive on his social blame. Um, people are assuming he's buying subscribers. I don't think he is. I think that at the same time that he loses a bunch of people, some people are finding him and like him and don't care about the drama or people who aren't into the YouTube world found him and subscribed to him. You know what I mean? Like it's just a balance. Um, I don't know if he's going to continue to lose subscribers. Maybe now that people are going to make videos saying that he's not anymore, people are going to go unsubscribe because they want him to lose subscribers. So who knows what's going to happen there. Um, but we shall see what keeps happening. Tati finally hit 10 million. Crazy. I know like the joke was like, who's going to hit 10 million first, which is kind of cruel. <laughs> but anyway, um, the other thing I want to talk about just really fast, like this is going to be a quick video is, um, Trisha Paytas. She is steadily losing subscribers. I think she's lost like 80,000 because of the whole Nikocado avocado situation. If you don't know, long, long story short, cause he is coming <laughs> is that, Trisha reached out to Nick to do a collab and obviously Nick is super excited. He was a small channel at the time. He really wanted to do it. He jumped the gun and bought the tickets, which he should not have done. And she ghosted him. But not only did she ghost him, but she proceeded afterwards to talk crap about him to other creators, talk bad about him on social media, to make him look like he was crazy as a stalker fan. Um, just defamation, a hundred percent. What she did, he literally could sue her for and he would win. Um, it's illegal what she did. She literally made him look horrible to his job, okay? Like he was working full time doing YouTube and she affected his growth, his money, his viewers. And that's not okay. Um, not only did she do this to Nick, she did it to another girl named Nina, like uncensored or unrated or something like that, um, where she caused her to lose a lot of money. She caused her not to be able to collab with a lot of people because Trisha told them how horrible she was when it wasn't even her at all. Um, it's just really sad to see someone with power, all these all these people with power, um, they get too much of it, their head gets too big, and then they just suck. They've gone back and forth now, and Trisha keeps just deflecting and talking about Jason, which it's been months since they've broken up, and just trying to make everyone feel bad for her. And she doesn't even, she won't even say Nick's name. She won't even say, his name when she talks about him in the videos. She's just like, yeah, so this guy and da 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 won't even say who she's talking about. Um, it's really sad to see that she just can't apologize. And like even Peter Mon, who's friends with her, is like, come on, Trisha, what the heck? Keemstar, he was like, what the heck? Like, what, what the heck, seriously? Like, how do you do that to people? And then now, when there's literally proof that shows that you did something wrong, and you can't just say that you were wrong it makes nick look really bad and it's not fair and he has a lot of her fans coming to her or coming to him saying horrible things to him because they believe trisha when trisha is literally lying and how can i say that she's lying well because there's facts on nick's side nick is providing facts she's lying um but anyway that's basically all i had to say i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later